the numbers keep the sign. If the signs are different, doesn't matter which one, if you're adding a positive and a negative or a negative and a positive, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which one comes on top. Three could have been up here, the seven down here, doesn't matter where they are. As long as you know that one is positive and one is negative, you're going to subtract the smaller number from the larger number and keep the sign of the larger number. So seven and three is always going to be four, no matter if the three's here or the three's there. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So and again. You got to do this, somebody. Yeah. 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 Now that'll be a good one. Yeah. And again, a lot of times they won't put this extra one here. They'll just say add the following number. Just say it in the sentence. Or right. subtract it. It'll just be in the directions yeah. before so read directions. Okay. Because you can't just assume when you see the numbers what they they have to tell you what to do with them. Mm -hmm. Add them or subtract them. Okay. Now, when you multiply sign numbers, that's when you've heard that thing two negatives equal a positive. <coughs> that's only when you multiply. Because as you saw, when you add them, two negatives still are negative. Right. But when you multiply, anytime the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Same sign, the answer is positive. So if I have negative 7 times a negative 4, still a positive 28. Just like a positive 7 times a positive 4 is a positive 28. Doesn't matter. Negative times negative or positive times positive, the answer is still positive. It's always positive? Always. When you multiply. Whenever you multiply. Whenever you multiply, when the signs are the same, the answer is positive. So this is another this is another part, right? This is so This is multiplying. Okay, okay, yeah, that's no all. <laughs> I was Before sure. it was adding. Yeah, I got that, yeah. I got the other two. Okay. Now we're on three. The third one. When the signs are different, the answer is negative. Oh. Always. Always. So if I have a positive 7 times a negative 4, it's going to be a negative 28. If I have a negative 7 times a positive 4, it's going to be a negative 28. So when you multiply, it's easy. Same sign positive, different sign negative. Okay? If you notice, I skipped subtraction because that's the one that I know Nicole's going to get me on. So I was just going to say gonna, what happened. We're going to go back to subtraction. We'll finish the easy ones first. Okay. Subtraction is not hard, but it's going to cause you some... Uh, it's a second step. Yeah. Okay, maybe this one might step. So when you divide, it's very easy too. Because remember, we've been talking about it. What, sorry, Miss Harris, you said when it's a, um, different, it's the same sign? No, when it's no, different, it's, different it's negative. negative. That, it's automatically oh, negative. Yes, yeah. when it's the same, it's automatically positive. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, let's look at when you divide. Think about it. We've talked about the fact that when you divide, this, the quotient, times this, the divisor, has to equal this, the dividend. So this times this equals what's in the box, right? So what's in the box tells us what the answer has to be, correct? The answer has to be a positive 28. So you think to yourself, when you multiply, I got to multiply this times this to get this. To get a positive answer when I multiply, do the signs have to be the same or different? The different. To get a positive, and to me it makes sense because positive is good, so same. Same signs is positive. Different signs is negative. So if I want the answer in here to be positive, I have to have the same signs, right? I can't change this sign. I can't change this sign. This is the only sign I get to work with. Negative four. It's got to be a negative four, right? Because when I multiply this negative times this negative, that's how I get a positive. Yeah. Sure. Right. See, 
These signs had to be the same in order for this to be positive. Right, okay. Since this one was already negative, this one had to be negative as well. Right. Yes, James. Oh, there at WTC, I was going through a book and I just kind of learned or picked it up that like minus set negative seven subtract negative three is negative part seven y. Well, you're talking about something totally different than what we're talking about right now. Oh, okay, because I thought seven negative seven subtract. 7y subtract 3y well, is 4y. We're not talking y. about y. Okay. 7y subtract what? 3. You get 4. Right. So what's the so question? Y equals y. 1. Y4. We don't know what y equals. You won't know what y equals unless you know what, what yeah, the whole thing is. But that's when we get into algebra. Let's, let's take care of this first. Okay. 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 If the answer in here has to be negative when you multiply, then the signs have to be what? Different. Different. So if this one's positive, this one has to be negative. See, so division is easy. Because division is just the opposite of multiplication. Okay. It's the same thing. Because what we do is look in the box to see what the answer has to be, what sign the answer has to be. If the answer has to be negative, we know these signs have to be different. If the answer has to be positive, we know these signs have to be the same. So if this one had been a positive here, this would have had to been a positive. So division is the only one that's the universal one with these things. No, it's just max add. No, it's the same as multiplying. What do you mean? It's the multiplication that determines the division. Because the multiplication tells us that when you multiply two signs that are the same, the answer is going to be positive. When you multiply two signs that are different, the answer is going to be negative. So you use your multiplication to figure out your division. Because the numbers are going to be the same. It's no different than the numbers. It's going to be 7 or going to 28 four times, whether it's a negative or a positive. It's the sign that you have to be concerned with. And to figure out the sign, you just have to figure out what is the sign in the box. And whatever the sign, you look at the sign in the box first and say it's negative, I need different, different signs. So I'll look and see whatever this is automatically make this one different, then I'll work on the numbers. Get the sign taken care of. Then you don't have to worry about it. Uh-huh. If I have, let's see. Negative five. You see why, Jasmine? Because the answer in the box has to be what? Positive. To get a positive answer when you multiply, the signs have to be the same. The same. Uh -huh. So if this is negative, this one's got to be negative. Okay, let's do another one. Okay. Negative in the box. So when you multiply, the signs have to be what? Different. different. You see what I'm saying? You follow them, Jasmine? The signs are going to have to be different to get a negative answer. So if this one's already positive, this one's got to be negative. negative, you see? If this had been a negative 6 into a negative 12, to get this, see, people want to put a negative up there. But you say that you know it's got to be different, right? Yeah, so it's got to be a negative. So positive, this one's got to be negative. positive. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Because this one's negative. negative yeah. If it's negative, it's always positive. Negative. Got it? Some more? Couple more? Yeah. That's all right. No, that's right. Speak up. That's right. That's what we're here for. That's right. Better for me. For all of us, for that matter. Okay, Jasmine. Yeah. Negative three. Negative three. Negative three. Negative What is this answer going to have to be? Negative four. Negative four. Right. Get it, Jasmine. Because <laughs> it had to be different <laughs> times. Because it's negative <laughs> here. So this is positive. That had to be negative. <laughs> What does it have to be? What kind of signs to get a positive answer? It's got to be the same. <laughs> That's what you got to get in your head. Hot. It's got to be either same or different. Okay. When it's That's different, how I would figure first of all. There's only two things it can be. When it's different, either it's the same sign or a different sign. If you want a positive answer, they have to be the same. And to me, it just makes sense. Positive is good and the same. You know, I mean, some kind of way you got to get it in your mind. You know, 
it it's all works out right. If it's the same, then positive. It should be positive. When things are different, that's when it's negative. You see what I'm saying? That's how you can try to think of it. Oh, that's, so, yes. Get it, girl. This answer's got to be negative because these signs oh. have to be the same in order for this to be a positive answer. Go, <laughs> Okay? There you go. We in that thing. It's very serious. It's got to be the same. Signs have to be what?